Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatar somehow managed to acquire the Quill of Justice from Eustace, the giant anthropomorphic indigo justice vulture, despite being quite obstinate and stupid. I don't know if Eustace had the Quill of Justice on hand, or was just so sick of the Avatar and wanted him to go away, so we just plucked a feather from his butt and said, here, it's the Quill of Justice. Well, in any case, what we're looking at now is the coastal area just to the south of the flashing red pin. This area has actually been accessible for exploration since the Avatar arrived in Britannia. We could have gone here, like, immediately. Uh, it's kind of an oversight on my part that we didn't. But, you know, here we are. And uh, we can do it now. There are actually some ramifications for doing it now. If you're uh, wanting to quickly and easily be able to get back on track toward uh, the northern trail and wrong. But uh, we'll, we'll go over that in a bit. In the meantime, let's, uh, let's just get started. I see some cut purses over there. Probably ought to eliminate them because they are threats. Okay. Yeah, that didn't go so well for you guys. The story ends here. And they had a hoard of 50 whole coins. Man, there was a wolf in the mountains that had more money on hand than you guys. That's, uh, pretty sad. Not a great life, I suppose. Oh, look. I guess they're having a conversation. I don't know. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Give me some money. Uh, great. A socialist. Why should I give you money? Because I need it to eat, you big stinky jerk. What kind of avatar are you, anyway? I don't even believe you are the avatar. I think you're just a big idiot. Well, you're not wrong, but, uh, yeah, here's a good question. How did you know that I'm the Avatar? Everybody knows you're the Avatar because you're running around everywhere trying to fix stuff. Duh. I know who you are, but you don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I am. Ha ha. Now be very virtuous and give me some money. Give me money. Give me money. Well, I guess he did just watch us go and kill some outlaws. Uh, I guess that counts as uh, trying to fix everything. Also, I don't care who you are. I understand that I don't know who you are, and I don't care. Anyway, uh, sacrifice is a virtue, and the Avatar is supposed to be the paragon of virtue. Uh, so, yeah, here's some money. All right, here's 20 gold. Ha ha, what a stupid wimp. You'll give your money to anybody just because you're such a stupid wimp. Ha ha, what a dumb stupid head. Oh! Okay, so that's the thing that happened, and is still happening. That is no joke! Ow. Uh... Yeah. That is, uh, not the first time that, uh, that the Ultima series has uh, thrown violent children at the Avatar. She's just looking like, okay. Yeah, that's not the first time that's happened. I'm, I'm reminded of uh, an area in Ultima 8 where the Avatar runs into like 10 children and they all just start trying to trample him to death and he doesn't really have much choice but to return the favor in kind. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah, maybe this wasn't really a kid. That's always possible. This could have been some malevolent... Uh, entity. I mean, it... Ugh, who knows? What do you think about that, ma'am? What a beautiful day. I love the smell of the sea air. She is, uh... not fussed about it. Okay. How about you? Careful, friend. There are monsters everywhere. No kidding. Yes, there are. Well, here we have 
a bridge that is, well, no, no longer a bridge. You could just barely see him up there, but there's a, a goblin wandering around. Yeah, you can just make out. Yeah, here he comes. Hey there, friend. Oh, okay. You have a good one. Yeah, let's get another look at the map. So yeah, that's where we are. Uh, and I suppose that this is why you've got to go through quite a bit of rigmarole to end up on this side of the landmass and go to Dungeon Wrong. Because this bridge is out. All right. Well, we won't be getting over there right now, but uh, there is something to look at down there. Let's, uh, there we go. Let's get a little depth. There we are. And we have found a secret cave full of crates. All oh, this is just fun. So much fun. I don't know why they bounced the avatar back like that, but uh, they did. Okay. And we've got combat music for reasons that are not entirely clear. Um, so that's kind of obnoxious, but whatever. Let's explore what we've got here. Uh, nothing in that crate. How about this one? Hmm. And we've got combat music again. That's the combat music that generally plays uh, for undead. So, hmm. Oh, well that might be why. Hello. Give me one moment, please. Uh, yeah, this, this one's just full of torches and garbage. That's fine. So, can I hit you from up here? Nope. All right. Let's do this. strange. And we'll take that rib cage so that you don't come back. Alright. So that might have been the uh, cause of the combat music, perhaps. Situation has been resolved. And in here we just have some uh, broken pots. Cannot move them to look under, so that's a pretty good indicator that uh, probably nothing interesting in there. How about this one? Oh, we've got some uh, ham, carrots, and an onion. And the avatar is now at full health. How perfect. After eating uh, food that's been sitting in a crate in a cave, quite waterlogged at this point, we'll just say it was soup. Cave soup. What's in here? We got cannonballs. Don't think there's anything under them. Oh, that's interesting. Looks like we can stack them. Um, this is uh, another example of the Avatar's incredible talents. Uh... <laughs> And, and on top of that, he, he can get on top of that. Okay, Avatar. Well done. Let's move on. Uh, this is kind of a mess. The whole thing with one of them on top of the other. Uh, looks like well, I actually didn't want to take that. I was just trying to move things out of the way, but we've got some... Uh, okay, we can see now. We've got oil flasks, uh, 254 coins that we must leave there, unfortunately, and uh, 50 arrows. We will take those. 
that helps replenish the avatar stock after that uh, encounter with the dragon. So 371 arrows now. Cool. And that's it for this cave. Not much came from that, but we did get 50 arrows, and that's cool. It looks like it is starting to become evening in Britannia, which is fine. But it does mean that we'll probably want to sleep the night away so that we can travel during the daytime. And yeah, uh, in case you didn't see it, we've got a bit of a... Um, oh, okay. Hi there. Do that dance. I didn't know it was going to come close enough to the shore for this. And it is dead. I don't know if that was a leviathan or a sea serpent or... Oh, there's another one out there. Well. Um, oh, and it dropped a... Is that a... Is that money? No, that's just blood. Uh, I guess... There's really nothing to pick up from that. Okay. Well, the Avatar quite capably, you know, can take down dragons and giant sea monsters and uh, evil fireball lobbing children. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, we have finished over here. Let's continue this way. Oh ho! Yeah, we have a bad guy archer, and he's just uh, trying to make some distance, but unfortunately for him, not enough distance. We'll take his arrows. Yeah, he's got a friend up there. You see that? I'm actually going to return the favor in kind, because... Oh, we can't... Uh, can't quite see you, can we? We can try. Maybe I can hit him in the head. I was going to try to target, but it wouldn't. Uh, it wasn't letting me. I think he would have to advance a little bit for that to be an option. Ooh, nope. That went over him. Let's try one more. <laughs> oh, oh, I hit him in the head. Oh, and uh, that's the end of him. Excellent. Did that without targeting. Quite proud of myself. Alright. Let's take a look up here. Although, before we do that, yeah, do you see that? That's a creeper plant. They're actually quite dangerous. So, uh, time to end that. Yeah, sorry, man. We can't have you doing your doing your thing while we're trying to scale this. All right. Well, we can see that uh, there's some gold that is floating uh, awkwardly. How to get up here? Well, like that, of course. What? Can't you do that? 100 coins. Shame we can't take those. Or these 75 coins as well. We'll just have to leave it all up here. And that's a novice bow. It is trash. Um, you know, his arrows should be here somewhere as well, but I'm not seeing them. Yeah, oh well. Not the end of the world. Maybe they, maybe they fell through this and are down here. Doesn't look like it. Oh well, that's okay. We can we can always buy more when we get back to town, which is something that is going to happen, actually. The, the getting back to town part, in any case. Alright. Yes, it's uh, definitely getting a little darker. But we won't be in the wilderness for much longer, so that is okay. Air! Come on, fellas. Come on, get in the middle. Get in the middle. Let's do a weed whacker. 
Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I am going to do light. Yeah, that's nice. So let's take another look at the map. And we can see that uh, we are starting to approach, well, Britain, frankly. The whole Britain and Despise and Castle British area. That is uh, starting to be a thing. Yeah, let's keep going. And uh, hopefully you recognize that. That's Yolo's house. Let's see what's off over here. This is also an area that we've been to because up there whoop, is the uh, Shrine of Compassion. And there are the Stones of Spirituality where Shamino made his uh, first contact with the Avatar. And there's a rat. We don't really care about you. So yeah, this is uh, an area we could have explored. In fact, I think... I think I did briefly run over here, kind of looked around, saw some cut purses, and was like, you know, I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't feel comfortable with this, and I ran back. So, <laughs> but that's okay. But yes, that's that's how it all connects. We're back here, and we get to hear stones. Oh, brilliance falls on castle walls. And we get to be uh, serenaded by. Yolo the Birdman, still standing on his music stand. I mean, those are skills that I thought only the Avatar had, but, um, you, you go, man, you go. We don't really have anything to talk with him about right now, so we'll just continue. And unfortunately, we lose the music once we're out of range. Quite unfortunate. And well met. Let's talk to him again. Avatar! I take it much has gone well with you. Do not let down your shield. There are still many things wrong with this world. My friends tell me that I see conspiracy and corruption everywhere. But I tell you that it is true. Even the moons are off course. Look and see for yourself. There is still much to be done. Go in good health, Avatar. Well, he's not wrong. He is on top of things, and it is nice to have somebody cheerlead the Avatar instead of telling him to go home or that he's a big dumb jerk and stuff like that. So, thank you. It's good to have friends. Yes, his, uh, his name is Orson, by the way. So, we are heading back to Britain at this point. This is uh, familiar territory. Compassion be with you. Yeah, you you too. And I think if we can, it might be a good idea. Actually, hold on. There we go. There we go. Get rid of the uh, the chuggy business there. Yeah, we can get into that bed. So let's let's do that. Turn off the light. And sleep through the night. Because traveling in the daytime is uh, preferable. Easier to see everything. Yep. So we're going to stop off in town and drop off all those gems at uh, Cameron's place. I don't know, maybe we can buy some more arrows at the uh, Provisioner. or I'm not sure who has arrows. I think it's a Provisioner. We'll see. And uh, maybe drop off a couple things uh, in the Avatar's room in Castle British. There we go. It is daytime. Is there anything we... Yeah, you know, we could put these in Castle British. That's a, that's a good idea. Ugh, that, uh, that rope noise is a little obnoxious. It's a little loud. I'm going to dump this in the river. Bye. Oh, I guess I'll just leave it right there. 
some poor person's gonna be like, oh my god! When they find it. Good day. Hello! And we're back in Britain. Nice to be back, I suppose. We'll just, uh, scale this wall here. I tear the air from the head when I think how icy cold I was to me own brother. You were a fright, calling him rude names, shutting your door to him and his wife. I don't know what came over me. It's those frightful columns. When they appeared, everyone's heart began to harden. But when the Avatar cleansed the shrine, something was set to right again. I hope the Avatar can help all the peoples of Britannia. Yeah, there's a little conversation that we missed back when we were doing our victory lap around Britain so, so long ago. Yeah, hi there. Um, listen, I'm going to need you to hold some more stuff stuff that I can't sell to you right now. I mean, I could. And it would just end up as a big pile of gold on the floor there. Which is uh, unfortunate. Not the end of the world, but still. Just uh, dump all these gems. No big deal. This really is a lot of gems. I, I hope sapphires are worth something. Um, the ring and the bracelet. I don't... Does he buy those? Or just gems? I don't remember. Let's find out real quick. Welcome! Yes, My name also. Don't want your spiel. Sorry. Um, actually, you know what? I think uh, we've got that giant sapphire uh, lighthouse gem in our pack right now. It's It hasn't been cut, so we, we do need that cut. I would like to have some stones cut. Ah, these magic gems were intended for the new lighthouses that Lord British had built. They were lost en route to my shop. I never thought I would get the chance to finish them. I will polish them up for you. Well, it's just, just the one, but, uh... Now, Avatar, they must be placed in the lighthouses to activate them. I expect that the Keeper of the Lighthouse near Britain would know the appropriate gem to place in each lighthouse. Thank you, Cameron. Farewell. Farewell, my friend! Cool. Well, that is something that uh, we needed to get done. Throw that in the quest item bag. So now we've got the sapphire and the emerald. I have found a sapphire lighthouse gem. Is that going to happen every time I pick it up? Nope, just the once. The flag has been set. Okay. Well, there's only one more out there somewhere. We'll find it. You know... Mm, yeah, there's nothing in there. But, but we had to check, you know? Okay, is that everything? No! No, of course not! Don't be silly. Ah. Just a few more here. And this cut diamond, which is of particular value. Okay. Good. That has all been handled now. I think I will keep the key on hand. I'll just throw it in there for right now. Let's, uh... Oh, I, I forgot. The reason I was even talking to him was to see if he buys jewelry. Welcome! Mine also. I think he does. I have some gems. He does. Okay. Uh, right, because if you try to sell them to the provisioner, you get less money. I I already have been through this. Anything else? I... Nothing today. Farewell, then. So, I think perhaps I will leave the uh, jewelry here as well. The only problem is the ring is kind of hard to see because it's tiny. Let's see if we can put it in a place with good contrast. That's pretty good. All right. A lot of money sitting there waiting for the Avatar when he's ready to cash it in. And now we do want to go see the Provisioner. Hi there. 
because we would like to buy arrows. And look at you, you're not hiding under the stairs. Welcome, my friend. How can I help you today? I want to buy stuff. I would like to buy supplies. Oh, I've made a mistake. There are no arrows here. Is there anything else I can do for you? Hmm. I need nothing today, thanks. Farewell. Huh. It has been a while since, uh... Since I've caught up with the merchants here in Britain. So... Oh, wait a minute. Ah. I forgot there was a... Dedicated bowyer, but, uh... That's my mistake. Yes, of course, how can I forget you and your habit of standing on your counter? I have a range out back if you'd like to practice. Uh, of course, if you don't- No, no, no. Don't need to practice. Don't need any of that. Uh, buying arrows, please. I would like to see a list of your wares. Okay. So that ought to be sufficient. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you. I must be going. Farewell, my friend. Wow, look at that. We got rid of 54 coins. Wonderful. Okay, and uh, last order of business is to head back to Castle British and drop off these uh, couple of ginseng. May as well. We don't really have anything else. Um, I mean, I guess I did not want to stop, but... Uh, <laughs> We can drop off that serpent wine. Not the most productive trip back to uh, Castle British, but you know we're here. We might as well, and then we'll head back to where we were. And I'll show you the. Uh... Hi there. I'll show you the curious. Uh, situation regarding kind of getting back on track Hello, hi there after jumping down from those cliffs from the uh, beginning of the video and it, it does raise some interesting questions okay quick pit stop here don't need that serpent wine and we're gonna throw the ginseng there. And I am going to keep the key on hand just in case we see something that would be interesting. Yeah, we're ready to go. Unless uh, maybe there's a quest item. No, I think I'd like to keep all of those with us. You never know. All right, we are done in Castle British. Good day, Avatar. Hi there. And you? You going to say hello, Avatar? Greetings, Avatar. Hi. Hello, Avatar. Hello. And back we go. I have to say, uh, the game is not as awful as I remember it being. I mean, it has been 20 years. I'm not seeing nearly as many crashes as I did uh, back when I first played it. It is still buggy. We've seen quite a few uh, very interesting and curious bugs and design decisions. And certainly the uh, storyline has been completely butchered. Hi there. Yeah, the story and the Ultima lore they, they went right out the window. It's, it's really sad and disappointing. Maybe that's what I remember more than anything. And we can see right through you. I don't mean that in some, like, coy, you know, I know you're lying kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, there's the rest of you. Yeah, things like that. Um, you know, stuff that you just wonder, how did that, you know, make it to production? But, but it did. 
no big deal. Par for the course in this game, but... You know, for the most part, I am actually enjoying the game, actually. Uh, I would enjoy it far more, and I would be able to look past the bugs and, you know, terrible camera work and everything. Oh, hi there. Look at you. You guys are strong. Well, you were. Anyway, yeah, I, I could look past a lot of the game's mechanical flaws if the storyline and lore and, you know, like dialogue and everything, you know, the soft parts of the game, if those hadn't all been just completely butchered. But since they were... Yeah. All right. So, let's get interesting. Um, long story short, there's no way up this. Which is, I suppose, how, you know, the whole thing about, oh, you've got to reach a certain point in the story. You've got to have a Lord British open the pathway in that cave that'll let you reach you uh, in order to progress. And that keeps places like you and Dungeon Wrong and these mountains and all that, that keeps them off limits to the player until that certain part of the storyline has been reached. But... What if you could circumvent that? What if... And by the way, there's a hoe. It might be the hoe of destruction. We don't really know what happened to it, so... That is a possibility, a distinct possibility. I'm going to save, because uh, sometimes... Things have a habit of falling through the world and being entirely irretrievable, which is uh, not optimal at this point. Okay. How about this? Yeah. Yep. Just did that. And uh, got our weapon back as well. And here we are, back at the top, ready to continue the quest. Now, I got curious and loaded the save file from right before the Avatar spoke to Raven to go to Buccaneer's Den for the first time. And instead of speaking to her, I came and did this. I climbed a staff, and then I ran to the Court of Truth and got to see the cutscene where Visagralem accused Raven of gargoyle genocide, and she got sentenced. And then I ran back to Britain to talk to Raven about going to Buccaneer's Den, but she was no longer there, which meant that the game was broken in that timeline. But it isn't in this one, and we're going to keep going in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.